Hi, I'm Adam, and I'm going to reconstruct Tom York's The Eraser using... this mono. So, in order to do that, um, I've got Ableton Live 7 set up with a, a couple of samples that I recreated. We've got the beat samples here in one drum rack and the uh, piano samples in another drum rack. And some reason pads and effects that are going to come into play later. So to connect to the mono, I'm using a program called 7up Live. Right there. And how that shows up on the mono is like this. Okay, so 7up Live has a couple of different modes that you can use in order to interact with Ableton. And uh, one of those modes that I'll start with is the looper mode. So here we have our piano loop running, and we can play in another loop. So that should sound familiar. Now if we want to add our beat, we'll go into the pattern mode up here. Now we've got one pattern set up here. If I want to set up a second pattern, I just go down to the next one. And I can sequence those patterns in the sequence mode in the second option here. Now for the chorus, I want to be able to play these loops in a different order, so I'm going to record them using the loop recorder mode here. And it's going to play back what I just recorded. This is called the masterizer mode, and it sort of gives me an overview of what's going on here. I can see the location of Ableton Live and the patterns, which loops are playing. I'm going to go into another mode and add some more instruments. So if I go back into my masterizer mode, I can see the different instruments that I'm playing here. I can turn them on and off. Now, one trick that I use if I want to make a big leap in what I'm playing is I can assign different MIDI notes to sections of the actual song in Ableton Live. So if I suddenly want to jump to a different section of the song that may have different instruments muted or not, or not muted, um, I can do that over here, so watch.